back in action tomorrow, uh, I guess, in terms of squad? How's everyone shaped up coming into this one? Yeah, everyone's okay. Um, you know, everyone, we've had a, a short turnaround. So, look, basically, it's just trying to see how everyone pulls up, you know, after today's training. Um, and we'll go through that sort of now um, to see who's, you know, who's ready for tomorrow. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so look, again, it's one of those things how to see how he feels after the, the training session, um, along with a few others. So look, I, could, I can give you a better answer. Obviously, you know, when tomorrow's game happens, but look, everyone is okay at the moment. It was obviously the second time playing the Mariners this year. You know, they've had a few tight games recently. Now they're also coming off a short turnaround. What sort of game are you expecting from them tomorrow night? Yeah, look, I think they're a good team, you know, but for me, it's what we do. Um, so look, we, we need we need to stick with what we need, what we need to do in our processes, and you know, um, look into how we you know how we break them down, um, uh, especially tomorrow because we know they're a good team. Uh, I think we'll have short turnarounds for the whole entire season. So um, I can say twenty one arresting, but it's not the reality. Look, look, again, I, I need to see day by day. Um, just due to the fact of, you know, um, who's 100% and, and, and who's not, but it's a day-to-day -day basis that we make the decision on. Yeah, and they, we have no choice. So, you know, um, it's credit and credit you, we've adapted and we have to adapt due to the current circumstance. And, you know, um, we learn to, in that sort of phase, to get better. And But look, again, you know, we're doing our best to adapt to the situations at, at hand. Yeah, look, look, I think I said to uh, someone last week, I, I think it's been like a four-year process. You know, when he first came, um, he did okay, and I, but I think each year he's improved and I've obviously seen you, you're seeing the results and you're seeing the progress that he's made. So, yeah, look, I think it's been a four-year process. You know, when he first came, um, he did okay, and I, but I think each year he's improved and obviously you're seeing, you know, Following it in, in a good patch at the moment, but I think it's just due to his hard work and his dedication. But it, it's taken time, uh, and, and I'm really happy for him. How close to your best? I think Western would have jumped you for first place, but have you sort of felt like the, the top team this year? Or do you still feel like there's a lot of improvement? Oh, there, there's, there's so much improvement, um, I, I think. And again, that's a, we're not perfect, um, and not, neither do we claim to be. You know, look, we, we try hard and. Sometimes things work, sometimes things don't, and it's, and it's a learning curve. But each day we train hard and, and try and get better, you know, to improve. Just on, you know, the new pitch, I mean, it's yeah. real amazing facilities here. Just a comment on being able to play on this, you know, prestige. Yeah, yeah look, it, 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 it's great, you know. Um, it's great to see that uh, you know, the city group are really um, investing in infrastructure here for not just the first team, but, you know, everyone aligned with the club. Um, obviously, you know, it's great for young kids to see um, and, you know, and hopefully one day they get a chance to be on here. Um, but also great for, you know, uh, where we are, um, you know, in Cranbourne. Um, it's great to see that the locals hopefully can inspire and, and you know, maybe one day uh, get on and train on here. But it's great just for everyone in the community, for our club. Um, and we're, we're very fortunate to have this. Um, but, you know, the, the, we work them hard to, so they understand, you know, <laughs> that things aren't for free. Um, but look, yeah, we're, we're, it's it's great to you know be part of something like this. Does it really feel like yeah, you're some part of some bigger process? Like obviously it's an important part, but there's a bigger picture that you really. Uh, I think I think just for the game in general, maybe not just for, for us. You know, um, you know, hopefully we get this game to where we want it to be, like competing to Europe. But you know, in Europe, some some facilities don't have this, um, and if we can as a sport, you know, keep improving stuff like this as a whole. Um, I think our product and maybe players coming through can improve and be better, and I think that's the greater for the game. And Savasa, how's he coming along? I mean, we haven't seen him yet. He's slowly building up his business. Is he getting yeah. closer? To the he's, he's potentially getting closer. Um, again, it's not one I want to rush, um, knowing that we've got a lot, a lot of football, you know, to, to play. So, you know, we'll do our due diligence. Um, but he, he, he's close. He, he's close. Maybe McLaren, eight goals in nine games for club and country. Is sort of pretty gelling as he tapped in. Yeah, it's hard work, yeah. hard work and training.